diabetes, gestational diabetes, a risk factor for a cardiometabolic disease in women? So, yes it is. And gestational diabetes is diabetes that goes away, it comes on in pregnancy and goes away at the end of pregnancy. But it has a high likelihood of predicting that that woman will develop type 2 diabetes. And type 2 diabetes is a cardiovascular risk equivalent. So a woman then who develops type 2 diabetes already has a strong risk factor for heart disease. And there's some emerging data saying that women with, who had gestational diabetes, even if they don't develop type 2 diabetes, are still at increased risk for having heart disease. Can a diabetes be prevented in women with prior gestational uh, diabetes? Okay. So we know from the diabetes um, prevention program that women who self-reported on entry that they had gestational diabetes appeared to benefit from both the intensive lifestyle arm as well as the metformin arm. And they seem to benefit with about a 50% reduction in conversion to type 2 diabetes. Now these women were older women, they were postmenopausal. So, and it was also, as I mentioned, a self-report. So whether doing, ha, doing something like the diabetes um, prevention program in younger women, let's say in their 30s or 40s, closer to their pregnancy, whether that would be a benefit is something we're actually studying. And is preeclampsia a risk factor for hypertension and for future cardiovascular death? Preeclampsia, which is high blood pressure that comes on in the third trimester usually of pregnancy and resolves with delivery, predicts future hypertension, heart disease, congestive heart failure, diabetes, and cardiovascular death. So women who have had preeclampsia die of cardiovascular disease early, earlier in life, 10 to 20 years earlier than a woman who did not have preeclampsia. So that's why it's so important that a woman who had preeclampsia knows that's a risk factor for early cardiovascular death and that her care providers know so that they can help her institute efforts to reduce her risk. And what are the cardiometabolic disease prevention recommendations for women with uh, prior gestational diabetes and uh, preeclampsia? So right now, the, we don't have ones that are specific for those conditions. So the recommendations are general recommendations to improve cardiometabolic health, which are to eat healthy, to get to a lean body weight, to stop smoking, and to have a good amount of physical activity. Whether women with gestational diabetes and or preeclampsia need any additional modifications we don't know at this time but at this we do know at this time that caregivers are not asking whether women had the condition so if they ask if they had the condition and even if they're instituting the traditional risk factor modifications the women will be getting a lot more to help prevent future disease than they're currently getting now